Patients rarely know that they have a condition called hydradenitis suppurativa. They often think they have a rare or unusual form of acne. So hydradenitis suppurativa is an inflammatory condition that sometimes may resemble acne. They are both conditions of hair follicles getting clogged up by cells and sebum or oil which comes off the surface of the skin and may clog up pores. Both may have hormonal influences which may either cause them or cause them to flare up. The main features that uh, differentiate hydradenitis suppurativa from acne are the location of the lesions, the size and painfulness of the lesions, and the leakage of a pussy fluid from these lesions. Acne usually occurs on the face, but often on the chest and back. Hydradenitis suppurativa usually occurs in the creases, under the arms, in the groin creases and the buttocks and under the breasts. So hydradenitis suppurativa lesions are often larger than regular acne inflammatory lesions. Sometimes they are cysts. They are usually painful, sometimes extremely painful, and often impact the patient's daily activities because of the pain and discomfort. Acne lesions do not typically have pussy material, whereas hydradenitis suppurativa lesions often have an abundant foul-smelling liquid which comes out of the lesions. Patients often feel there's nothing they can do for this condition. They've tried everything to treat acne and nothing has worked. But what they don't realize is there are other treatments that are more specific for hydradenitis suppurativa. We treat it with antibiotics, we treat it with sometimes shots of cortisone, and sometimes we treat it with more aggressive measures like a group of medications called biologics. These are very different methods than what we use for acne. If you think you have hydradenitis suppurativa, it's very important to see a doctor early on, and if it is not treated early on, it may lead to irreversible scarring and damage in the area. Patients often come in devastated by this condition and are very grateful and relieved when we can give them medication that's specific to treat this condition. Patients often come back tremendously satisfied, especially patients that have severe manifestations of this condition.